Academy of Fire Security at the John Hansard Gallery, University of Southampton. Um, Chris, thank you for having us along today to uh, witness the installation of 10 new scorpion heads. Um, tell me a little bit about some of the things that go on in this building first. You know, what happens here at the John Hansard Gallery? Uh, basically, this is just a, um, an art gallery. They have various exhibitions that can last, some of them up to eight to 12 weeks long. Um, in the room. So when we come to do the servicing of these, especially the void detectors, yeah. we generally previously have had to work around the exhibitions because some of the ceiling heights are five, six meters high. Right. So we need scissor lifts. And obviously with some of the exhibitions in, we can't get in to, to service them because traditionally we just use um, testify. Right. And, and prior to installing the Scorpions, as you say, you've had all sorts of challenges, I assume, with timing of when you can test, disruptions of the things taking place here. What, what is the impact of, of actually not being able to test these detectors? Oh, absolutely, the, the, the impact on the customer as well, because obviously we need to work around when the exhibitions are finished, when they're empty, um, especially some, sometimes they'll have um, glass work and things in, so that's an added, an added problem. Um, but also the disruption factor, because obviously 10 detectors, if you've got scissor lift to get around to them, the time is, you know, a lot more. Chris, from a service and maintenance point of view, just tell me a little bit about the benefits that you find with Scorpion as opposed to traditional testaments when it comes to these hard to access detectors. In this instance, the time saving is going to be huge. Previously, as I said, we needed scissor lifts, so there had been two engineers with a scissor lift and one engineer by the panel, so it would take them three engineers to test these 10 detectors, and they're spread across two floors as well, so you'd have to get the scissor lift up and down through the lift, etc. So it was quite a time consuming exercise, whereas now with the scorpions, it's going to take minutes to test them. Chris, tell me a little bit more about the university's plans in the future to roll out more um, scorpion heads to, to simplify the test and maintenance of, of all campuses. The main area we're slowly working on now is the lift shafts. Um, over the course of time, we're going to slowly start integrating them into the lift shafts because obviously, again, to service those detectors, we need the lift engineer as long as our own engineers, whereas with the scorpion fitted, we can test it when we go there to do the initial servicing and the time time savings alone is about 100 or so and there's probably about 100 lift shafts across yeah. the across the campus so a huge time saving yeah. there well chris uh, once again thanks very much for your time and for having us here today it's always great to see um, new projects for scorpion being installed and you're making great progress here and uh, do let us know keep us up to date for more in the future will do and thanks for all your support